at what point did you find out his age? Yeah. yeah. No, I know his age since the very, very beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Would you date somebody 10 years younger than you? This is your daily catch up. <laughs> Boom. We're about to witness Shum's first time. I cannot... Wait, what? <laughs> why? <laughs> yeah, why? Okay, so today... Hey, don't nervous ah. Ah, I cannot. I'm just sweating. How you want to say hi first? You want to introduce yourself properly. Okay, la. hello everybody. Hello everybody. Let's talk about sex today. You're smiling way too much when you say that. <laughs> Anyways. Spoiler. So today, we picked out some of the more like controversial posts from Paise Questions. Thank you, Paise Questions, for Thank the you. inspiration. Thank you so much. So, the first poll reads... Assuming you are 30 years old, okay. which some of y'all actually are, 30. Um, what is the youngest and oldest you would bang? <laughs> what the f***? Bang. Bang. Yeah. bang. Just, so it's just bang lah. Who yeah, says bang. bang anymore? <laughs> Clearly the person that asked this is 30 years old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's so, go oldest first lah. Oldest okay. easy. 55. Huh? I, I love cougars, which is why uh, Ned's older than me. <laughs> okay. Wait, cougar means what? Uh, older women that like to prey on young men. Like grooming, grooming. Yeah, that's like 55. What's 55. your age difference with that? One year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in this case, I also like cougar. <laughs> I am a cougar then. <laughs> I think my MX is plus four. Oh. Uh -huh. I'm very sensitive about age. Why? Jeez. So because like my whole life, right, I didn't, I only had friends that were my age. The only time that, the first time I had a friend that was older than me, which was older than one, by one year, was in JC2. Eh. That's when I'm like 16. 17. And what was the difference? Hey, sorry, Did it freak you 18. out? It just feels like I cannot talk. Oh. Like I just got nothing to say to them. Like it just <laughs> right. cannot vibe. Right. It was so weird. It's just like I don't know what older people talk about. <laughs> right, right. Mm. But when bang don't need to talk, it eh? depends. So <laughs> the... <laughs> oh no, you talk la. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> but what is it you cannot talk about? I feel like it's just because my whole life I didn't have. So I just didn't like that concept was just foreign to me. But I mean now I got to talk to a lot of people that are older than me, I like Shums. On JP. And me. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that Dan didn't say, say it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Alison eh? Why wow, you're becoming a very host, um, host. Um, <laughs> It's a female Jared. She's yeah, just yeah. dodging the question. It's just a moderator. I think max 40. Huh? That's alright. So what your age what? plus 40? No. No, she, she 30, she okay oh, with Oh, okay, okay. 10. Anything above that is a bit creepy. Right. Yeah. But they have to be like, of, like they have to be hot, la, right? Like, yeah, like a Brad Pitt, like a George Clooney. Salt okay, I really like Leonardo. Okay. But I wouldn't bang him. You're also out of his range. Yeah, he won't She's like you. No, You're but also don't you think Leonardo looks very musty nowadays? Range. Like, you know how there are like guys mm. that look very musty? Musty is like a smell opinion. though. Like, what like, does he musty look, look like? He look chem. But there are people, right, who look like they never bathe, right? But you still want to f*** them. No! Jason he Momoa. Don't have. Brandon Boyd, Jason Momoa. Like, you know what I mean? Mm. No, he looked like his belly button smelly, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, he looked like he never cleaned for some time. I feel like Shams like older men, so her age range will be quite big. Yeah, I once had a crush on but a 60-year-old man. 60-year-old <laughs> man? But uh, he's daddy. He's, he, he's, he's your daddy? Oh, daddy? He probably daddy. is. Uh, he might be granddaddy. Uh. <laughs> no, he's <laughs> very... Granddaddy. <laughs> you don't know. He's very daddy. Then, because of him, right, I went to download the song. Uh, not download, save the song. <laughs> download, don't, can't reveal my age. What song? The... I just called to say... Because that was his ringtone for the longest time. Uh -huh. So he sits beside me at work. And then he is 60-something. And then his phone always ring. I just called... To say I love you. Wow, then I faster go and like Shazam that song or something. Then I <laughs> every time his phone rings, she faster like open Shazam. Then ever since then, right for the next like few weeks, right I always plug in the walk to work, right with that song in my head. Oh my god, in you were in love. To Wait. imagine you and him together. No, but like because you just liked him, lah. Yeah, you see the one like that got away. No, but how old are you? No, I how was, old were you? I was twenty. <laughs> wow. <laughs> was he married? Yeah. Never mind. But he's, <laughs> can. but he's very like sure of himself. Like you know what I mean? What I mean? Yeah. Like he's like very like uh, I think if you hit 60, right, it's too you should be already like <laughs> yeah. it's not no, many years I left. I see a lot so. of like 60 year old uncle, auntie, like like uh, don't know what they're doing. Did right. he have like Adrian Pang kind of vibe? A bit. Ooh. Then he talk, right? The way the way he carries himself uh, and uh. he talk. Uh, Got the like calm, oh confident. Okay. I know I can see it, I can see huh? it. So if he asked you then, right, like Come home with have, me. Yeah. Like be his side bitch. Maybe like, eh. like my wife and kids are away. Like come home with me. But I'm not sure if I would bang bang. This question is bang No, ma. no but I'm not as you make love eh. Hello. As in, like, <laughs> as in like I would go to different levels with him, but I'm not like sure. What, if like what? She will holok holok, but she won't ba 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 bang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put that on her t-shirt. Excuse me, excuse me. 
like, share, subscribe, and comment down below the age of the youngest and oldest person you would date. Ooh. Back to the episode. 69. <laughs> okay, but the downwards. Yeah, how, downwards. How down are you willing to bang? How? <laughs> how down? Hey, you're asking him now. I'm not sure. You're like, <laughs> okay. how, how old fresh, is your boyfriend? Fresh huh? blood. How old is your boyfriend? <laughs> I said I'm 29, right? He's 27. Cool girl. Oh, so younger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cougar. Nice. Is, is there anything that surprised you about dating somebody younger? No, eh, to me it's like the same, but I think it's because our age gap not very big. But certain references I make, he don't understand. Like? Like when I say like, oh my god, last time McDonald's got the grilled chicken fold of, fold over wrap. Then I think like Shams will understand because she's oh. the same age as me, right? But he don't know what the hell is that. Like two years can change so many things. Really, man? I think he's yeah. step one young only. I think he no, know. No, I think he don't know. <laughs> This yeah, morning, yeah. we were talking about a lot of nostalgia stuff because mm. we were looking for something to talk about on the show, right? <laughs> and then, like, I see half the list I don't understand. Yeah, like, suddenly throw out, like, LimeWire. Or... Oh, that was yeah. the best thing in the world, which like, I never used. Like, he wouldn't know used. what's that. But I don't, I don't know what's LimeWire also. You don't know what's Torrent? No, I, I know what it is, but I don't know what it looks like. I never download before. You got Samsung's by Infrared before? What? Hey, have, have, have. By have, Infrared. Have, have, have. Yeah. The phone, the yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the black part of the, of the side of the yeah. phone have to, like, match together. It's almost like a Tamagotchi, then you send yeah. something. No, then you have to bump. Yeah. <laughs> you have to bump for it to register. Air drop also. Okay, final answer is <laughs> minus five, I think. Minus five. So you if were I'm 30. 25. So 25. Mm. Okay. okay, okay. I feel like John Paul would date someone like 16. I feel like no. no confirm. Bang la, bang. I feel like you would. Oh, bang. Uh. Yeah, confirm. I feel you need someone mature. Yeah. No, bang eh. I oh no, like but even bang, 16. I feel like he would grow he very patient. He just needs someone to make his... <laughs> <laughs> I don't hmm. want to say the Interesting. word. I okay. I I think if it's just bang, just bang, there is no <laughs> limit. Like both ways. I mean, huh? like, so, like, 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 like legal, like, legal. Oh. I don't think there should be a limit because it doesn't matter. Eh. Yeah. Like I think sexual chemistry. I don't think age plays a a, a big part. Energy wise, maybe yes. Until sixteen years old, right? <laughs> <laughs> 16 is legal. Is that the legal age? In Singapore, 17, I think so. 17, okay, 17 then. is legal. <laughs> Let's play safe. Wait, plus I one. Think, I just huh? said, eh, 18. No la. No la. No? 16, I just said 19. 16. <laughs> but I don't think people like below a certain age would have the same attraction also. So that means like they are exploring sex in their own way. I don't think we are like men like, at 30 will be part of that. I've yeah. also seen like on a Reddit thread because someone was asking la, like is it uh, should I date this guy who is younger? Then after that, the, the one of the replies I thought made quite a bit of sense was that it's not so much about the age, but about your life stage. Mm. So then if that matches, right, then a lot of things will work out. But then if that doesn't match, then you are more likely to feel more disconnected from each other. Then like your goals and all that are going to be a lot different also. Mm. I think there will definitely be aspects of a person that you, like for example, if you're dating somebody way younger than you, right? There will be aspects you can see like, oh my God, in that aspect, she's still very childish. But it, I don't think it matters, you know? Right. Or you can see why it could be endearing, mm. in a sense. But yeah. is that pedophilia? <laughs> <laughs> What's the next question? Uh? You said something on the surprise, right? Yeah, yeah, pedophilia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. Shams, go. Oh, shit. No, so the results endearing. from the poll, right, is that almost like one third or one quarter, right, of Singaporeans think that a plus minus five years is okay for both mm. women and men. But okay. there's also 2% of them. Okay, so I just remind everybody, right, that the poll question starts with, mm. uh, imagine you are 30 years old. Ah. Okay, so 2% of men and 2% of women think it, they would bang someone who is more than 20 years younger. It's like 10 years old. Ho! Oh, hot <laughs> them! We got them! No, 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 but, but because there is an um, MCQ, right? Mm. So yeah. what is the option before that? Maybe maybe there's... 15 to 20 years younger. It's very oh. So about 1%, 1 to 2% that voted this. It could yeah. be also they just trolling lah. Maybe. Maybe, no, maybe there's no option to say that like I, I can see 20 uh, over but not maybe under is not. No, there is. So they no. do from like more, oh, both, less than uh. 20 all the way, all the way until more this, than there's, 20. There's no depending. Okay. <laughs> 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 if they not good at math then they think the arrow of the other side is <laughs> more than Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go with that. Pushums. So there's this hardware <laughs> zone post right by Black Pill Overdose. There's nothing wrong with dating someone younger than you. Only low IQ H cut have a problem with it. A 25-year-old <laughs> man <laughs> by that age will have a good career and be able to drive. Meanwhile, the 15-year-old girl will be super fertile. They would be a perfect match because the 25-year-old man will have money and then the, the girl will be yeah, like, more fertile. fertile. So it would be, be far more weird if a 25-year-old man 
date a 35 year old woman <laughs> because her fertility levels will be super low and she will be pro- and she will produce unhealthy offspring. That's assuming that for, like reproduction is the goal. La. Correct. That's yeah. what he's saying. La. That's man's goal. <laughs> Jared is the sen- let me make sure this is the safest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just wait for it. No, attraction to males is unnatural, while attraction to JBs, J-B's Justin Bieber's. <laughs> what the, the f- are we going on? I think younger girls. Okay, so attraction to like males, <laughs> older women is unnatural, 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 while attraction to younger women is na- is normal man behavior. Wait, what is JBs? I don't know what JB. Hmm. It's really it's just jiggly babes. So you are unnatural. <laughs> so okay, so okay, so so being attracted to older women is unnatural. I mean, yeah. I'm also attracted to younger girls. I mean, <laughs> oh, oh, young. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you also have a story? <laughs> JB is jailbait. Oh, jailbait. Thank you. Yeah. That's that makes so, so much. You know sense. so much. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, from another JB, Julian Baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they are so obvious and it's actually really, really cringe. Like when you go to a club sometimes, right? And then you just see this like group of very obviously young people, both guys and girls, and they will try and dress up. They look like they're wearing their mother's dress, la, their father's clothes or whatever, right? And then try to look so much older with the makeup, but it's so obvious that they are f- like 15 or 16 years old. And it's so cringe, like they try and like, oh, I don't have my ID or like this and it's fake. And then like just seeing that and get bounced. But that's Noops. part of growing up though. It is, it is. Yeah. Fair enough. And it's, we all probably were like that when we were young. Yeah, though. it's doing the things that are a little bit like on, on the edge, you know. But can you imagine, like I remember looking in the mirror and going, like when I'm 17, like, I look 21. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and this whole time, right, everyone is just thinking, this guy looks like 12. <laughs> yeah. Dude, like before, everybody, because I was born like later in the year, so everybody's birthday like passed already, right? then all going club, then I'm the last few. Wow. So then I borrow my friends, I see that I memorize his yeah, IC yeah, number, yeah. address, everything. Right? They say, all my friends gather around, then they're like, you look a bit like, <laughs> <laughs> you look, Close enough, like you can pass as this guy. I didn't know. I go to the club, right? Gonna. I give the bouncer my IC, then I fucking proud all that. Like, uh, S, blah, 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 the number. Yeah. Must you stay up. where? The, what's the address that I said? Oh. No, because he's oh, checking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They always, they always ask. They're yeah, fucking scared. Then you look at me. <laughs> no, lah. <laughs> <laughs> go. <laughs> he damn nice. You know, you can kenal, you know? Yeah, yeah they yeah. can call police all, but he just like, no, go. He's like, nice try, bro. <laughs> then you just sadly go home. No, then we try every club until I got into one. Oh, my oh God. God. Oh, Your friends are so nice. Drop the name of the club. Which club <laughs> are you in? The one I got in? Mm. Rebel. <laughs> you go in that place, all police. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> hey, Rebel was damn fun though. Was like I Rebel don't know what's Rebel. Rebel Zuka. Envy Zuka. There's this other poll that replies to this uh, Reddit. La. Is it normal to feel extremely disturbed and grossed out to find out that a 15-year-old female is dating a 25-year-old male and almost... Half of the 3,610 people said it's, the, it's disturbing. Which means the other half thought it was okay. Yeah, but okay what? <laughs> okay, I'm disturbed but not extremely disturbed. Did huh? we already cover an article <laughs> where uh, it was this guy, like a music teacher, who taught this girl and then she was like 9 years old or some shit. Then after that, then now he's 30 or 40 or whatever and then she's like 19 and then they're getting married. So he groomed her. <laughs> so you identify that that is grooming lah. <laughs> but I think he's like some pop star or something. I'm eh. just asking. Oh shit. Oh. You know who I'm talking about? Some Asian Taiwanese one or what? Eh? It was in the news. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is very familiar. I feel like th- as I'm extremely disturbed. Huh? Why? <laughs> as long as there's no like, you know, sex. No, no but grooming is no matter wrong, what, though. the younger child is so like Is it a disadvantage? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so no matter how mature they are they are still at that stage of their life where literally their brain hasn't fully formed. No, but that is why I feel there is a segment where it's okay. Where it, even after going through life, you still feel like, I am in love with this person and I want to be with this person. No, but that's because you've been like, already, but you, no, it's already inculcated in you. But you don't know, you know? For many, it might be the case, but for, I really believe that there is a segment okay, of okay, them. Okay, I agree. Yeah. No, but isn't, so grooming is definitely illegal, right? <laughs> And grooming is when you basically go on dates with someone who's underage to basically groom them to love you when they finally become of age, right? Yeah. So my understanding be, of grooming. Be, because if there's the intention from the older part the, the older partner to make this person get together with them eventually, right? Then that's mm. up, right? Mm. But if say that wasn't the case, right? Mm. But then the younger one still end up liking and falling in love with the older one. Okay, what yeah, if yeah, okay. the older one okay, older one is A, uh, younger one is B. So, A 
like B, but never really act on the impulse because it's wrong and it's grooming yeah. until B becomes of age. Mm-hmm. Then A start like being more obvious and then like chasing after B. Mm. Is that okay? So just hung out as friends, lah. I mm. think okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shows this disqualified from answering all these questions. Yes, yeah. <laughs> You're okay. very biased. There's a confirmation bias here. Fifteen year olds are not young, wah. I think it's okay because because I also believe that all these numbers and like cut off points like sixteen is also bullshit. Right? Like it's there, but it's an aggression, you know. Mm. It's not hard and fast. Mm. I mean, it is lah. <laughs> I mean, it depends. Are, are they above 16? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so that's why, like, I think it's okay. I think I, it's okay. I, I, I remember when I was young, when I was like 12, 13, I had friends who were like 20, 21, and we really just like hung out. No, like, so nothing. Like, we just friends come from football. the first place? You no, know like, I mean? like, like church or like uh, in the <laughs> neighborhood or whatever. Like, uh-huh. this, like, outside of school, you never know what the ages are going to be. Ma. Right. Like, you just hang out and then you have similar interests. Like, you all love Liverpool, so we go and watch Liverpool matches or. You like okay, and we just play this so one. Awesome. I heard little pool. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> so like, I can imagine that if I had older friends, that had I had an older friend that was of a different sex, or even the other way around, that you could just really just hang out with friends, and then eventually when you do reach eighteen or whatever, mm. be like, oh my god, you've been such a big part of my life. I think I love you. I uh, it's so it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like maybe if the intention, like JP said, the intention wasn't to groom you. We just hung out, and then we eventually did fall in love. I guess it's okay. It's hard to prove in a court of law though. <laughs> <laughs> Very difficult. Especially after this uh, paragraph. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, it was nice knowing Shams lah, but... <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> can, can, can I cut out? Uh, okay, at least your cougar story. <laughs> hey, huh? yeah. Hey, hi. What cougar story? It's interesting that you said that you are disgusted but not extremely disgusted. So is this a scale of one to five in no, which middle I is... I do believe like some people are just that pure to like just want to be together but just not do anything bad or sexual with each other. Yeah. yeah. There's just some people in life that just can't I find mean, friends of their age. No, I see, I believe all of us are one f- 15 and then we are just very attracted to someone older but we never think about whether it's legal or not. Like, you know? Yeah, but the onus is on the older person. Yep. Yeah, I feel like it's the responsibility of the older person to kind of like establish what is the boundary and the relationship like, knowing yeah. that they, are, they like the younger person. My only thinking is that, again, my intentions are very pure, for example, hypothetically, and then I'm in a car, 22 years old, with my 15-year-old female best friend. <laughs> that really to, sounds to weird. To me, this sounds really weird, right? Like, if I get spotted, if we are at a zebra crossing and people look at the both of us and I'll just be like, hmm, this probably feels wrong, you know, if people are looking. So if then, if that's the case, then... Not to Shams though. Not to show. Yeah, but yeah. you will respect yeah. that boundary and then like maybe hang out as a group setting or like keep it, it keep it PG, you know, until that person finally is Wait, more legal. Okay. Hmm. The fact that you're waiting though for that person yeah. to be more legal, I think that's the problem. I, see, I feel like that's what makes it okay because you know that you are letting that person grow in their own space. So like even if the person expressed interest for you, you have to reject kind. Mm. But it's so weird, right? Like who loses, you know? Like I think about it, right? Like in secondary school, right? Like say I'm 15 years old, right? Then there's this f***ing hot teacher, you know? And then, right? Had one of those. We, <laughs> and then, yeah, and then we connect. Yeah. Connect I mean, as in, no, no, we don't physically connect oh. yet. So then after that, right? Like, if you really think about it, say I turn 16. Mm. And on my birthday, this fella... Is naked. You know, yeah, <laughs> makes it a party. Yeah, a yeah, yeah. private party. Ooh. That's private like... Party. That's dream come true, eh? It, for, yeah... Let it come true for a guy <laughs> for the younger the younger no, person whoever the guy. La, if you are that like attracted okay, yeah okay, okay. infatuated with that person then yeah then who loses in this situation it might potentially yeah. be you because you are so infatuated and you don't actually know what you are getting yourself into ma. but in life right do you really know what you are getting yourself into most of the time if you are really living la? you don't right? you get played sometimes the situation plays you maybe it's an industry thing maybe it's a business thing maybe it's a life thing right mm. it's almost every aspect of life I think when it comes to maybe religion and some other components of society where we we place too much en- emphasis and we put sex, especially sex, on a pedestal, right? Then suddenly there are all these rules that come into play and all these like ethical boundaries and all that. Mm-hmm. But then if you look at the rest of life, right? Is it really the f***ing ethical? No, but majority of what we do in life, we kind of know that there might be certain risks involved or even if I don't know what the specific risk, mm-hmm. I know that even if there are, like I am... I am it's a calculated thing. La. It's not a, I just blindly step into it and don't care because I'm so infatuated with this idea. 
for majority of things. Mm. And then so like as an impressionable 15 year old that is just overwhelmed by his like testosterone or what. Like, <laughs> Testicles. As in then like, you are not thinking of, so like they, we were just now talking about how the 15 year old is probably not, also not thinking whether this is legal or not. So I feel like they're just not at that decision making. So how is this different? Yet. How is this different from a parent f***ing over their child because mm. they don't have the capabilities or knowledge to educate them on like things like health, like finance, and these other aspects. So you grow up your whole life, right? As a kid, right? Your parents just feed you the most unhealthy thing, lah, Because that's what that's all they know. Right? Maybe they don't know. Or maybe they don't really have don't have time to care for you. So then you grow up thinking that all oh, this is okay, but it's actually f***ing you up like mad. Eh. Exactly. You are just describing what grooming is. So the no, no, but it's not. Is just no, there's you. no intent. You see, it's not that your parents intend to f*** you up. It's not like this other person, this older figure, yeah. wants to groom you. Yeah. Yeah. So then, how is that different? No, so you're saying the parents one is okay, but the grooming one is not okay? No, I'm saying both are wrong. But one, right, is so much harsher and treated so much worse simply because of the way we have put sex on the pedestal. Agree. Really? uh? (laughs) I'm amazed. (laughs) Okay, cool. So guys, cereal and sex (laughs) with 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 underlings. uh, Underlings. With younglings. (laughs) Stop. (laughs) Now, have you watched the local film Wet Season? (laughs) Whoa. No. <laughs> what season? So it was a local film. Now I remember watching it. It's about like a teacher and student relationship. Oh, it's a Singaporean Whoa. film? Yeah. So yeah, 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 that's so exactly what she started with. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just yeah, so, <laughs> so the student, I think, was like 15 or 16. Hey, sure. And then the teacher was probably like 30 to 40 because she was married in the film. So it's like, spoiler, they had like a sex scene. Like spoiler. the 15-year-old kind of rape. What? It, the teacher. Oh. Then at first, okay, at first it was like rape because she didn't want it. But a- after that, she was, because she was like dealing with so many problems, right? Then she kind of understand why he wanted to have sex. So eventually she just let it happen. But and that's then, still the weirdest concern. Yeah, though. but I remember leaving the theater, right? Like understanding the intention of the, like the 15 and the 40 year old having sex. While like, a lot of my friends who watch the movie because I like say like oh my god you have to watch it and then they think it was extremely disgusting but they also watched the film yeah but, but then for me I didn't find it that why like what was what was that no away? because I feel like I understand where the 40 year old coming, is coming from <laughs> <laughs> no really I think I we all <laughs> anybody who saw the film would know it <laughs> yeah, no but as in obviously I don't think it's right but then when I watched it I, I understand the intention of the director for showing it I think they just wanted to show you how much stress a woman can go through, right? In like her marriage and her life, how depressed someone can be that they even allow someone so young, right, to rape her. Like that's, they wanted to show how drastic it can be. Like, like she really like- And how vulnerable. Stoop herself so low mm. to the point of having- Right, as it, so the film did not portray as like, this is okay. They portrayed it as like, a sign of like her stress or her trauma or whatever she's going yeah, through. Yeah, as la. in the ending, they did hug lah, but I think it's hug to show like, like sorry this happened. Like I we I know it happened, but like let's let's leave. Cause in the end, the guys started falling in love with the woman. Oh. Yeah, but that is interesting though. As in, I can see where Alison is coming from. Yeah, based on how she described it lah. Yeah. Fun fact is that the the both actors were from the other movie also. Yeah. Ilo Ilo, right? <gasps> yeah. Oh, the same. And he's the young boy. Yeah. But you know he grew up. Ilo Ilo, yeah. Ilo was so creepy. Yeah. Yeah. They were Ilo both legal, creepy. by the way, to film the scene. No, I, I okay. I think it's imp- very important that there are films that are made like this because they show us a world that we would otherwise kind of just gloss over, and it's very real because there are there are people living behind closed doors where these kind of things happen to them, and there are situations or circumstances where maybe a woman gets raped like in that movie, but then. There's so much more behind it. There's there's shame, there's guilt, there's 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 the weight of other things in her life mm. that go into it. So when you look at or sometimes you read a case on, on the news about oh this this incident happened and it's vile and you immediately like are unhappy with the assaulter, right? Mm. A lot of the times it's there's there's so much more to it. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And I think also like I mean, whatever people have done that have been reported, obviously it's wrong and they shouldn't have done it. But I think the immediate reaction is always like, oh, this person is an evil person all the time and they finally got caught. When a lot of times it's momentary lapse of judgment that sometimes just lead to the person like that. And it really shapes like how we look at our prison systems, for example. Do we want to mm. rehab people or do we want to punish people? And I think it does 
create a lot of stigma when it comes to also like reform and things like that like eventually so like it, it really does play a part and often times when we read reports it really, really doesn't tell the whole story and I think mm. it's just something worth considering obviously not forgiving somebody straight away but like seeing people as people who make mistakes yeah I was just gonna say like the whole concept of forgiveness is so it's so radical like when taken to the extreme yeah. So I mean like one of the big criticisms of like Christianity is also that like oh so you mean like if I kill someone I can still go to heaven? Wait, what? <laughs> Welcome back home, son. For <laughs> God. <laughs> so but as in like that true remorse or like that repent and then the rehabilitation and then like the forgiveness that can follow from whoever he needs to seek forgiveness from, right? It can happen, you know what I mean? It's just so crazy for us to to think about. But it's good that right now at least these are things that are bringing brought into questioning. Right, because like for the longest time, I mean, we can go, go into the whole episode about this, but we also know that prisons are not for helping people reform and come back into society. So this, this, the, the caption of this episode is how how a pie say question about <laughs> whether you were a fifteen year old. Let us to forgiveness. <laughs> us to, yeah, yeah. And Sean's criminal confession. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just thank is it? Like, just yeah, thank, thank you for watching this episode. Then that's it. comment yeah. down below what's your minimum age? <laughs> what's the <universe? laughs> yeah, yeah. episode? Then yeah. thank you for watching this episode of the Daily Catch Up. Okay. We just use that. Then actually. comment then. down below <laughs> if mm, comment what's down below. Plus, what is your plus minus? Yeah, okay. Our editor just use this. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> 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 Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Bye bye. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Done. Done. Outro done. She typed out this whole thing for nothing. <laughs> hey, they say right, men's penis right will become smaller as they grow older. Is it true? I don't know. Ask him. Ah. I just I don't know. That's why I was thinking. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine. I'm trying to imagine. Is and so if his dick's more than what? This cannot. Ah. Not pleasurable or. Wait. For so what? you you imagine? Hmm? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Is that moving on? Oh my god. Moving on. <laughs>